Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 62. So today we're going to go into Command and check out our new notifications engine. Those of you that have been using the Command app will recognize how notifications now appear inside Command Desktop, but definitely a new kind of enhancement and, and change to how we view our notifications. So you guys know the bell icon is how we view our notifications inside command and if we click on that notification you're going to or excuse me that icon you're going to see we get a new drawer that slides out from the left first of all it's black so black and aqua being the new kind of color scheme if you will and you can see right now i don't have any unread notifications but if i go over to red you can now see that i have all of these notifications that i have already marked as red so you can come in to any one of these and mark it as unread and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like if you come in and you have unread notifications. So first of all, if you have unread notifications, you'll still get the red bell icon, but you're actually going to get a numeric value now to tell you how many notifications you have unread. If we click on that icon, you can see the unread notifications and I can choose if I'm done with this notification, if I'm good with it. I can click the three dots and mark as red. Or if I have several notifications, I can come down and mark all as red. And you'll see, hey, just a heads up, this can't be undone. Notifications marked as red can be individually retrieved from the read tab for up to 90 days. So it can be undone, but not in bulk. So if you have like three or five or 10 notifications and you're marking them all, well, in this case, you'd have to mark them unread one by one. So we can mark all as red. Um, you can also come in and you can see that there is a drop down here at the top right hand corner that says all notifications. You can actually now choose to filter specific notifications. So I want notifications that only involve campaigns, only involve email, only involve consumer contacts. You can see all the different choices here. So if I only wanted to see my tasks, I could do that, right? I could come in and say, I only want to see consumer I don't have any consumer notifications in this test account. Let's see, command email, none in this test account. You can see you can come through here and basically just check in and see what notifications you have recently inside of this actual, inside of your account, right? Because uh, this is a demo account, we don't do a whole lot inside of here. So I can go back to all notifications and I can see easily that these are all task-based notifications. Um, here's one for compliance, though, at the very bottom when we are doing some testing there. So if I had gone into all notifications and chose opportunities, there you can see two notifications coming up for opportunities that we submitted for compliance during another testing environment that I was doing. Now, should you choose to, and I'm, I'm not really sure why you would do this, but some people really just want to clear out their inbox and then they're in inbox, you can come down and select delete all. That's going to remove all the notifications forever, ever, ever. Um, these will stay around for up to 90 days. So personally, I don't really see a need to delete all, but that's totally up to you. I'm just going to focus on my unread. As I get new unread notifications, I'm going to mark them as read. And I don't really care if they're hanging out in here. There's, there might be a time at some point where I actually need to access one that's a few weeks or maybe a couple months old. It would be nice to keep having them in here, but to each their own. Uh, you are going to see that on the three dots, we've also got a delete. So you can delete one at a time if you choose to. And then tomorrow, or maybe later, it might end up being Monday, um, I'm going to show you how to manage your notification settings. So there's something along the lines of 11 different categories and almost 80 plus notifications that you can manage. Stay tuned for that video. We'll get into that and take a look at all the different types of notifications that can be sent, the three different ways that you can receive them, and all the categories from which they can be sent. So that'll happen on day 63. This is day 62. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Great talking to you. Hope you all have a fantastic day.